stop wasting your time to save Nigeria. Nigeria is unsalvageable, irredeemable. That is the reality. Continue listening to this man. Honestly, at least for doesn't see when I to travel out or maybe they divide the country that's all. But you say have confidence or say this thing for this country, lie, lie. And after after they finish manipulating, they now ask us to transmit me to transmit the manipulated results. I can't do it. I can't transmit all those manipulated results. I just I had to leave. I told them I'm leaving this morning. You don't see try itself. They say okay, that we should just transmit offline. You know, offline nobody will see it. At least just to show that we have transmitted. But it just wouldn't the INEC uh, profile. You know, you can't nobody can see it on online. After I'm manipulating the result, they ask me I should transmit. After I'm not transmitting anything. I'm not transmitting one thing. Let them just do anything they want to do. I just leave the beavers and, and I'm I'm going home now. I'm going home now. They are finished. But I have those ones that they both the original ones and those on that. So just forget this country. There's nothing all I forget I know is no independence. If they say they will transmit results, they will do they didn't transmit nothing. Shut down the network, forget everything. Since I used to see this morning, nothing. You can't transmit anything. You now say, okay, this morning that we should just leave the divas and go home. See now. So uh, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, I mean, just, for, just forget this country, I mean, forget this. It's not worth it. The stress is not worth fighting for at all. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I mean that you will have confidence, okay, anyhow, at least this, this one, this particular one, they will do it. So I say, okay, let me see the end of this thing. Nothing, forget. Forget. Since on Friday, been on the field, sleepless nights, walk, walking up and down. See now. So for, just forget the country, forget they have done what they want to do, forget it. So. Do you see the frustration in this man? <laughs> he wanted to try, and he has tried and seen it, just like many millions of others. No, don't worry, no, 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 IPOB, please uh, uh, stop calling Nigeria a zoo. No, we will try this time around, we'll get it right. Well, now, one of you, one in Nigeria, and they have done it, and uh, look at the results. Sometimes I wonder, how can you go to Serengeti Forest, Serengeti, and now you gather uh, animals, both uh, lion, uh, deer, zebra, uh, every kinds of animals you can see, python, cobra. You gather them and say, now conduct uh, your democracy, you are democ you are democracy, okay? <laughs> As you are talking about democracy, lion will be looking for a deer to eat. He will devour a deer. As you are talking of democracy, don't even understand what you are talking. He will look for a deer, a deer, or a zebra deer. Uh, that he will, he, he will class them. Okay, this one will be for my dinner. This one will be for tomorrow's uh, uh, breakfast. You know, he will class them. <laughs> you understand? Because it's not for them. They are animals, simple animals. That is how Nigerians are. Because Nigeria is not defined, it's not a defined entity. That is why it is so. Britain made it to be like that, purposely like that, so that we continue killing ourselves in a place, you know, just like you put a, a how do you put it, iron, a piece of iron, uh, keep it inside the water, ordinary water, H2O, and close it, leave it there. The, uh, it will be corroding, rusting, little by little. The, you know, the oxygen, the, 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 the water will be rusting the iron little by little, eating it. You understand? That is what Britain did. They put people that have no, no business being together as a country. They put them together to be corroding themselves little by little. To be fighting friction always, and you are calling talking about democracy. <laughs> go, it's better you go and uh, you know gather animals in Serengeti Forest in Kenya, in South Africa. Gather them and say today, you know, I'm forming you to be democratic. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Therefore, we must continue in what we are doing. Because we, we IPOB, we are always right. Do you understand me? We are always right. Let me, before I, there is something I want to just glance through. Let me glance through just one thing, please. 
one thing or the other as news headline please before we before i continue as briefly as possible i could in order to talk about facing the reality of today there is this news they say <laughs> Uh, the the midget of Kaduna. Uh, he said protest is forbidden. Erufai, Gover uh, uh, government wants Kaduna resident. Okay. okay. Protest is forb forbidden. Air Five government warns Kaduna resident. This was yesterday's news headline. They have started to because that is how they behave. That is who they are. They call Nigeria a a democracy. Just you will see with this matter what you are here, what you are listening in mainstream media, BBC. Oh, the largest democracy in Africa on polls. <laughs> Just like um, the largest animal kingdom in in Africa, Serengeti. Serengeti going going to polls. Now they want you a gov an elected official is warning people that people should not protest in a democracy. Uh, in Nigeria, sometimes I you know the other day I said this, and it will come if if Nigeria continues to exist, it will be like that. One day. One day you will land in a country, they will tell you. Who are you? When you tender your passport, they'll say, ah, where is your cage? Where is your cage? Why did you come on normal? Even if you want to buy a ticket, they'll say, as a Nigerian, no, 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 no. They cannot, unless somebody will carry you as a luggage in a cage. Because that is where, what, what you deserve. Do you see this thing that is, this shame that uh, Britain is uh, pampering, uh, supporting, Amalgamating, you know, patching up, is being watched all over the world in social media. It's a show of shame. <laughs> you understand? It's a show of shame. If you are an equal citizen with others, you should show it by doing what others did. Not going to elect, uh, you know, election. <laughs> what, uh, what election? Go to, it's better you go to Serengeti Forest and a uh, desert and say, okay, hmm, gather animals and conduct election for them. Tell them to de be democratic than Nigerians. Midget, this uh, Rufa, he didn't know. He didn't know that uh, democracy is all about expression. You understand? Free expression. Through protest, anyhow you like it. But now he is stifling. But he is a democracy. Nigeria is a republic. And he was a so called elected into power. Do you see why we say that Nigeria is a problem? Are you seeing it? They don't. I'm sorry, I don't know. What's this noise? Where is it coming from? Okay. They don't understand they don't the caliphate. They don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't know. What's this noise? Where is it coming from? Okay. They don't understand the caliphate. 
in whose hand uh, Britain, uh, you know, placed Nigeria under their care. They don't understand that democracy, democracy entails freedom of expression in forms in form of protest. But here, you have said governor. Now, governor have said it. <laughs> the Nigerian mainstream media will take it. Uh, 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 honorable, honorable Rufai have said that the people should not protest. Uh, you know, because when you protest, you know, it's miscreant. <laughs> I don't know how God punish, punish us and brought a one useless drunk and he's a shower gear friend just to come and form a, an entity which we call Nigeria today. Look at I don't, he is a punishment. I'm telling you honestly. Until we remove ourselves from this punishment, and that is what we are doing. Because when you see things that are going on there, it is on human. On, on human being. On human. It's not things that human beings could do. Or should do. Yeah, you are democracy. We are watching the EU. Monitoring teams, the UK, Commonwealth, all of them. <laughs> you know, I put it in my timeline, Jonas Raphael, that oh, uh, what is what they will come now and say, ah, no, you know, their usual crap written before coming to Nigeria, they have written it already because they know everything that will happen. It's their creation. You know, when you build a toy, you know how, how it works. You, if you build a robot, you know how to program it. So it, it, it is not surprising. Katrina Lang knew, you know, he knew right from time that this is what is going, going to be obtained. So if I tell you that Katrina Lang has been working, you know, 247. To make sure that uh, this uh, shambolic uh, uh, so-called selection is being done by him because it's their toy. Nigeria is their toy. So they need to maintain it. Uh, after all, Apache, I Apache it and put it like that so that at least we confirm. You know? Oh, uh, though there are a few skirmishes here and there. Though there are lives that we are lost uh, in some police stations, though there were election malpractices, even people try to uh, capture, take away election ballots. Though some people were killed in many police stations, but this thing, all these episodes, we not influence the overall results of the election. Therefore, the election is free and fair and is credible. Akonaka, you see monkeys, monkeys, shouts. Where they place their standard, standard, they place their standard. This type of thing, if the if United Kingdom is holding a president, any election, and somebody was killed because of that election, the whole world will stand still now. Who, who born you with that election? They must first of all try to find out what is the root cause of a UK citizen to be killed in an election. But in the case of Nigeria, as your creators, they will come and, uh, you know, consolidate it. They will come and consolidate it as your creator, your God. <laughs> that uh, everything is okay, so and the Neanderthals will shout and clap for their stupidity and foolishness. And when you go out tomorrow, you travel, you reach Spanish airport as a Nigerian, they will keep you by the side. We are all that human beings are passing. It doesn't matter who you are, what you wear. They will tell you, oh, Nigeria. <laughs> stay here, stay here, this side. You say, What? I said, uh, I have my visa, I have uh, for every. Uh, um, uh, no, stay here. Okay, don't talk, stay here. 
He will call others. They will come and take you to another place and give you thorough searching and question. Do you know why they are doing it? Because they know that you are not a complete human being. When they see what happened, what you call election, they are watching it on, in, on social media. And you validate it. You, you are happy that you held the presidential election. Now no country will see a Nigerian and not call you an animal. They will treat you like that. After you say no, is your her boys that are spoiling Nigerian name? No, is your her is uh, people doing this, committing crime abroad? That that is lie from the pit of hell. I say complete lie from the pit of hell. What you are seeing, what all these things that you are doing, you call election. We are as no country in this world will allow it. But when they will see you, you collect it and you, you know, allow it with impunity and you go continue going your normal businesses. The whole other, the people of the world will say, No, these people are not human beings. So, anywhere they see you, they treat you as animals you deserve to be because human beings cannot do this type of thing and call it election. They will not, they will not direct. It's a shame to this planet Earth. Nigeria is, remains a black hole, black point in this planet Earth. Until this light, this light of Biafra shines, it will rise up. And that is what we are here. Well, that is what we are doing. Until it starts shining and darkness will disappear. That is what Britain, Britain wants. Now, let me go briefly to just what my point today please my submission there is another place another news headline anyway you know Bola Tinububat he said uh, don't expect uh, perfect electoral processes without manipulation in some areas <laughs> you know as uh, uh, all animals are equal but some are more equal than others the bigger animal has spoken he gave pre-notice <laughs> you understand and he said uh, uh, the electoral process cannot be perfect and devoid of manipulations in some areas, but politicians must accept the result of a free and fair election. <laughs> Do you see how they condition animals? The bigger animals have spoken that, look, uh, we, the bigger animals, politicians, we know what we are playing. So, is a who, who, who can, you know, uh, 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 do more than others so let us know we know the rule of the game no matter how things are we, 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 we will accept it that is what he tell politicians he doesn't care about the citizens about the populations because the populations also has brought themselves so low down that they are not part of the process because the population the Ni Nigerians are not politically conscious what matters to them is what they can eat day to day. They don't know that without government, you are relegated into looking just like a primitive Neanderthal for the rest of your life. You know, hunter gatherers. All that matters for you is food. Just the same thing like a chicken. The same thing. Chicken, you, know, they, you you as a chicken, you are you are you are throwing seeds, corns to the chicken. He is busy, happy, taking the food one after the other, very happy. But you are planning that you are looking for you people are discussing as the owner of the chicken that look now it seems this chicken tomorrow. I think tomorrow is uh, my daughter's birthday. I will kill it tomorrow. So you your count or not? The chicken didn't understand what is happening around it what matters to it is food food that thing is seen there that corn is seen you no know, taken now up here exactly that is the only thing that matters to the chicken that is how nigerian population the masses have been relegated the citizens of the so-called nigeria the politicians are there doing their plan removing the population is not among they are not in the picture at all that is why Tinebu made this statement that look, my fellow politicians, we know now these other people, other lower animals.
you know we are in the high cadre of the animal kingdom so anything that happens we should accept it uh, you know all of us are doing anyway we are manipulators so anyone that uh, how to manipulate another person let others accept it too because it's a game we know how to play it as for the population forget about them forget about them people you can buy these are just remove some money buy them give them one cup of rice each and uh, they are ends it it doesn't matter come and make a very good uh, statement in the television and uh, it's okay that is how bad it is that is why i say that nigeria is a problem you know in any other country somebody a politician can never i say will never ever make this type of statement it's impossible you, you know i've been i let me repeat it You know why you are maltreated as a Nigerian once you carry a Nigerian passport anywhere? It's no other thing that you endure. Something that you should rise up to fight as a people. No, you don't care. And, uh, you know, they look at it as absurd. How can human beings be enduring this, passing through this type of thing? So, what, once they see any Nigerian... Uh, any Nigerian in any place, they become surprised. Say, they they want to query you more to understand whether you are really a human being at the point of entry. What you have in mind, uh, what brought you to here? You know, your mindset. They want to know as they are questioning you, searching you, questioning you. They are reading your mindset. You know what they are reading? Oh. These people that are unresponsive to issues like this, to very critical issues like uh, elections, like election region, which is a high crime. No, they don't care. So, from talking to you at the airport, you know, putting you aside, talking to you, uh, provoking you. If they could, they want to understand what type of mindset that a human being can have in order to behave the way Nigerians are behaving. Do you see the reason? <laughs> Do you see the reason? And after the way you talk, the way you behave, they know that, look, these people are irredeemable. These are, they are far, far from humanity, far from human being. I'm telling you. As I said, facing the reality, I want to just talk a very brief, few, very brief. The reality facing us today is that Nigeria is not working. That is the reality. It's confirmed. Nigeria is not working. Some people still believe that Nigeria could be salvaged. First, though, through installing the most merited citizen into the country's highest office, through the voice of the people, which is via a democratic election. <laughs> I'm talking about facing the reality. Now, the first problem is this, or the major problem is that Nigerians do not understand what merit means. Merit. Nigerians don't understand it. They don't understand what merit means. Neither do they understand the full meaning of democracy. Nigerians don't. What Nigerians understand is, uh, oh, is from my tribe. Oh, is uh, my brother's sister. Oh, is uh, 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 a Christian. Is a Muslim, like me. Vote for him. Their frontal lobe part of the brain is not developed. To understand what merit, merit means. That this person has the capacity to do something. That is the reason why you will see a governor in Nigeria, uh, like a governor, his son. Now his son came out 
in a motorcade, a convoy like his father. Uh, attending, I don't know whether a marriage or one occasion, I, I don't know. And the people were cheering him, a small boy. <laughs> At least uh, the DJ, oh, people were happy that you know why they are cheering. At least this one, before you go, Ogabapo, ego, nah, small money will come. Hey, nah, nah, wow. A son of a governor using tax payers to convoy. Tax payers to convoy. The same way, let Buhari's son using a presidential jet going to party in Dubai. He will use presidential jet, fly, uh, go after the party, he will come back. Presidential jet, and he will be held. You know, these are the reasons why people other people they look at nigerians as lower life i'm telling you you know is this mentality that uh, some people some mazin and the canos brothers want to bring now this is uh, a global movement i know i know you know mazin and the say something now i had uh, some of us are going to go to many things, so, you, know, you know, different, different places. I am going to go to the Can somebody go there now? I am going to go to the hospital. I am going to go to the brother of mine, I am going to go to the You know, some, um, sometimes I am going to say, anyway, I am going to go. Why wouldn't anybody go to the uh, because uh, right from after the war, onye pataya na nandibo. Onye pataya na rocha so krocha jirabga. Biafra desin. Bagno chio nyo wana waka. Ane leya. People na ito kweya. Wele, wele. You cannot do this in the white man country. One person, one day or the other, will come and either stab or shoot that person to death. Say you are. He doesn't care about his life. <laughs> they understand me, <laughs> but I'm a uh, primitive people, and uh, you see people that are also following. Now, uh, he's a brother of mine, I'm the canon, uh, you know. Uh, uh, after all, he's his brother, you know. You don't know, you don't understand what merit means, you don't understand what a uh, structure means, you don't understand because you are your frontal lobes are not developed enough. So. Your sentiments cover the frontal lobes. It covers it. So it's undeveloped. When you put on your order, a structure being set up, institutions will say something. One useless person in the name of no one, my son, my son, I'm the kind of brother, will come and give counter order. And you see people that are talking, that are following. Uh, sometimes and say, now what? You know, that's why we're in a mess. I'm telling you. Because we are undisciplined, we are we are not developed as human beings in order to see things in the right space. We are troubled with emotion, useless. I say nonsensical and useless emotions. Manapota, in a movement, has its, has stakes. Without IPOB, there will be no man in the can. You understand me? That is the reality. Without people coming out, oh well, we come out now. Somebody take all that advantage of oh, his brother, uh, but I know that he may want thing as uh, the structure of that movement. That is the reason why Mazen Amdikano is respected all over the world. You will see one in Kakwa, Yao Pataya, one there, and he start looking down on millions of people. It's annoying, honestly. It's annoying. But uh, we continue. And we're going to have a monopoly of violence. Nobody. We continue. The reality facing us today is that Nigeria is not working. Some people still believe that Nigeria could be salvaged. You understand? First, through installing the most merited citizen into the country's highest office, through the voice of the people, which is via a democratic election. 
but the first problem is that nigerians do not understand what merit means do you, do you see the problem you know when you talk about merit it's just like a a lawyer in a court quoting he will quote and defend and quote you know when they talk they speak heavy grammar i've been issue you put a uh, italian join it put a swedish language join it put a heavy there is one man uh, i think that man is that they call him is a professor at university i think university of benin he's called the father father that blows heavy grammar i think he's now dead when you know when they speak now people will clap what are you clapping for they, nah, I, I don't understand though <laughs> what are, no people know they don't understand nothing do you see the problem do you see the mentality people don't understand nigerians don't understand what merit means <laughs> what matters to them is now nah, that person that will come now nah, uh, get any money he's going to give to us now nah, now nah let him drop now that is for them that is what merit means that is why they are cheap that is why nigerians are cheap and people think that ipob is like that or it's going to be like that you know i used to say people are saying oh biafra come uh, uh, like uh, one of our brothers say people are expecting short time biafra that is not inside me too i know the inside short time biafra short time you know when you, uh, you uh, every one of us understand what short time means no biafra we come that is why they will promise you biafra we come in in 10 days and uh, the, you see people believing you see people you and you start wondering sometimes i start imagining myself entering into being like all these foolish people i say okay let me just think like these stupid people how how if okay let me be in their shoe how will i be thinking i start imagining you understand now short time biafra we have everything pa, pa, pa. Nah, biafra. no we need to first of all emancipate ourselves from this mental slavery clear our men mentality so that we understand first of all what merit means what discipline is we respect the structure because without respecting a structure you cannot respect the law of the land you cannot even understand it because you see one useless person coming out tomorrow saying nah uh, 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 he will break the law and commit blunder uh, he, when you ask he say after all i'm the brother of uh, uh, the leader so what's uh, what's up no no need I'm above the law. So, no need of it. No, no, you can't do nothing. I'm above the law. Exactly what is going on in Nigeria. That is what they want us to replicate in Biafra in this struggle. It cannot happen. Never. It can never happen. So, we must continue. First of all, before you talk about democracy, genuine democracy in a place, you, people will understand what democracy is. Is it Almajiri that you say, oh, democracy? Do you, are you explain to him? Can you explain to him in Aosa what democracy is? You, you, the, you cannot. He don't even understand it. What matters to him? What they will explain to him is, uh, you see, uh, infidel wants to rule Nigeria, and once infidel uh, rules Nigeria, now you know they will start uh, converting muslims turning it to they will not build mosque as we used to build uh, you that is lining up in alhaji's place uh, drinking fura de nono every day alhaji will no more give, have money to give you fura de nono because infidel is in power so allah say in surah 51 that you will not allow infidel to rule so please uh any day the order from allah is this if you are going to vote look at this place don't vote for infidel law. don't even look at it because if you look at it you seen already do you see the language they use and what they understand because they are not sophisticated enough in order to understand what merit and democracy means they don't understand how can nigerians understand 
Is it people that are courtists that are in our land that you tell? Then I'm going to go to the second now. Now, what they whatever you are talking, what they want to see is the the color of fun. I mean, money, cash. The word of cash that you are going to bring out. I could remember oh when the Rocha Ya pota ebe ana ngon ko side ba ye wele on ko se ana ti aha i declare am mine na putel putel na i know wele wele ko wa ti ati ati ko dem mo e we one joint ati ko dem one aga ata nkodu ya you know what ya be hard there that day chineke no am fe ke dia hey you declare for everybody ana ata ana ti aha that is the only thing lower lives like Nigeria understand. The clear. Once you eat, uh -huh. the following day, you remove it, you go to the toilet and remove it, and your problem continues. They don't understand the complexities of uh, what is called democracy or merit. No. What are you going to talk when you don't I beg you go bring money? You know, as I said, the chicken. How can you explain to chicken that you are feeding that only from money as long as the sun is shining? The chicken is feeding. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He has no other problem. Eating, shitty, eating, shitty until they dax. That is why in the poultry farm people they put the little bulbs inside there so that the chicken feeds 24 hours a day. Two four seven, unless when they are tired they can sleep a bit, because they eat to be big, very quick, very fast. You understand? So that is exactly the mentality of a Nigerian. How will you explain to him democracy? We are as uh, they will tell him, you are you are PVC. You will give his PVC for a cup of rice. He will say, what what this thing? What does it? Is he going to give me money? I beg you. <laughs> How can you explain democracy or merit to people of low mentality? This, you know, I feel that in Nigeria they are abusing that word democracy. If not, we be a friends that are Republican, naturally Republican by nature. They are abusing that word democracy. Do you know why? Is is it is, is it the democracy that the Europeans fought for? Do you know that every facet of governance in Europe was for blood war? We are shed. I used to talk about Napoleon Bonaparte, who was the product of French Revolution. He was not a democrat. But you cannot talk about uh, mention modern France without talking about Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> you understand? He was somebody that rose up to the limelight during the French Revolution. And he became, you know, <laughs> he rose up to be even a general. He was a very brutal dictator. You understand that? But you know the difference is he is a very good dictator. That is why I used to say it. There are good dictators. <laughs> Do you understand? There are Gaddafi is one of them. Napoleon Bonaparte is one of them. They are good dictators. So when Europeans are deceiving us with this word, oh, democracy, democracy, you is better go to Sarangita Forest and uh, gather animals and tell them, okay, vote and be democratic. Is, is it not the same thing? <laughs> it's the same thing. They are abusing this word democracy just in order to get their interest, nothing more. That is the only thing. In order to get their sole interest, solely their interest, nothing more. Their benefits, nothing more. That is the demo That is why they are abusing the word democracy. Before the new democracy, there must be discipline. And you cannot get discipline without enforcing it. Somebody must come. A good dictator must be there and enforce it. 
people must be this in a place like nigeria where people where the system has made everybody to turn nigeria has turned everybody into wild beasts you are talking of democracy <laughs> you are talking of democracy where a policeman will cock gun to a, 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 a motorist a driver the man will say shoot me now shoot shoot uh -uh, watching shoot in a layer anya is in now all that people say in a, in, shoot 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 everybody becomes wild beasts and another thing out of this world yeah you are talking about democracy <laughs> we had to pay somebody uh, just uh, 10,000 naira say you know what you are going to do I want you to enter into that polling booth destroy what they have if you can capture any polling material bring it he said oh God, I said I'll give you 10,000 naira I'll advance you 5 if you go finish you come back I'll give you the remaining 5 you will see him he will go and do it he will go, because he's a wild beast. He don't understand anything. <laughs> you understand me? He don't understand. So is there is there the place you are going to? Uh, you are talking about democracy. Europeans, we took them processes, process upon process, in order to arrive at this genuine democracy they are in today. The, it comes with the with the people. Every process either blood will be shed people because people are carried along most if people are not carried along they will force themselves into the system to be carried along or there will be bloodshed and that is how they arrive to where they are today civilized the genuinely democratic that is why today a president will be talking a citizen ordinary citizen we go up to him and slap him and nothing will happen the the presidential guards will just hold him say what is your annoyance uh, this man he made a policy that uh, even i am a farmer i cannot uh, uh, be able to pay my loans this and that he will talk out they say okay they will beg him whereas the president of a country have given the president a very dirty slap that is democracy they will not talk gun to shoot him that is democracy do you understand? It's democracy. Do you hear what I'm saying? But in Nigeria, they are abusing that word democracy. It is something that Britain just put inserted in order for their own selfish interests. Only them. 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 So that oil and gas will be flowing. Californium material, I mean, Californium gems will be, uh, will be taken different uh, materials cobalt diamond gold will be take, stolen from nigeria without for free free of charge that is why the uh, uh, democracy uh, we are yeah uh, democracy presidential democracy we are watching them we are waiting for them to to come and do their announcement that the the, the uh, is uh, the largest democracy is uh, uh, <laughs> i mean uh, the election is uh, free and fair though there are some dead uh, people there are people that are killed uh, they, anyway their lives doesn't matter they are neanderthals but the election is free and fair that is what we are we are, we are waiting for them <laughs> the uk EU, united states champion of democracy they are abusing the word democracy in nigeria that is the reality we are facing you understand Real democracy thrives on disciplined and developed mental states that have a defined country where citizens could be proud of. Do you have, is Nigeria defined? The answer is no. The passion for the country energizes the citizens to work hard to defend it develop and uplift the country which is in which in turn protects and embraces them as citizens but in this case nigeria has never been defined i continue asking this question who is a nigerian who is a what is nigeria who is a nigerian 
the question has not been answered now let me play you remind you the, uh, the caliphate definition of nigerian please of nigeria and you you add it compare it to your own definition is it is it the same thing <laughs> let me play you the caliphate definition of nigeria and now you compare it to your own your own definition now you check whether is it the same thing because when you are in a country it's supposed to have a common definition common citizens people should be you know proud of their country <laughs> do you understand people you, you know there will be passion for the country when you are fighting for the country you are, you have passion for it because the country is there for you and you are a citizen of that country just listen to the definition of the caliphates uh, uh, Nigeria compare it to yours please your own definition this new nation called Nigeria shall be an extension of the estate of a great father Usman Danfodio we must ruthlessly prevent a change of government we must use the people of the middle belt as willing tools and the people of south as conquered territory and never let them rule over us never let them control their own future speech by sir atmodu bello on 12th october 1960. do you see the definition of the the full and definition of nigeria or the caliphate's definition of nigeria that this new nation called nigeria should be the extension of the estate of their great grandfather Ottoman than Fodio. Is that your own definition of Nigeria? <laughs> Is that you did you accept it? Is that the definition? Is it not what they are working hard for? That they will never allow them to rule over them. They I mean the Southerners to rule over them. That the Middle Bay should be used as a willing tools and south to conquer territory. That is their own definition of Nigeria. Now I ask Nigeria, you are voting. Oh, you are president of Nigeria. We fix Nigeria. What is the definition of Nigeria? What is your own definition? Is there any common definition of Nigeria? The answer is no. For the Fulani, Nigeria is the continuation, the estate of their great grandfather. That is what Nigeria means to them. Nigeria, you are clamoring for. I, the clip I played for you, that person has seen it. That INEC official. He said, let me just try and see this thing they are talking. Whether this thing will, will not work. Uh, but they show him. They show him that Nigeria is the estate of the Fulani great-grandfather of Mandan Fodio. That they should never allow others to rule over them. And even that others to control their destiny. In a Nigeria where you are dying to go and vote. Hey, 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 we are voting to, for new Nigeria, for good Nigeria. But the, the caliphate who Britain handed Nigeria into their hands say they should never allow you to control your destiny. Are you controlling your destiny today? When Erabo, General Erabo said that uh, 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 more than half of the northern border is not protected that things terrorists flow in and out as they want do you do anything uh, <laughs> that is the nigeria you are you are defending you know i'm telling you honestly who is a nigerian the Fulani say every Fulani from Sudan or from Morocco, uh, Western Sahara is a Nigerian. Now, you define Nigeria as another thing. How do you have a consensus for a country that you saw, you're a citizen? You don't have a common definition of that country. 
do you see where the problem is that the problem is nigeria because nigeria has never been defined he has never been properly conscientiously defined that is the problem whereas you are fighting oh, for a greater nigeria they tell you who is a nigerian people from niger child enter flowed into nigeria in order to vote because it's their nigeria they are voting for their own nigeria <laughs> <laughs> oh, this your G. Can, please, I don't know. Can't you people understand? The problem is Nigeria. We first of all, we should first of all define Nigeria through referendum to know whether people want to belong to that place called Nigeria or not. And who is a Nigerian? Do what Indians did. This your G. That is why you are, if you have kidney problem, you start flying to India because they were able to define their country i have been saying this is a historical fact when mahatma gandhi was gallivanting he's a brave man anyway for uh, i mean independent of uh, india people started asking questions oh god this india you are talking before we enter problem who is an indian that question ricocheted in the mindset of every other Indian and they say yes this thing did what's the name of this man is in Nehru or what the, this thing is a Muslim he said who is an Indian before we start gallivanting for independence who is an Indian first that is the thing how do you define an Indian let us define it now or before it's too late so that we know where which way we are going and when that question it became a national discourse that question brought about renovations it brought about reshuff, uh, reshuffling of the place they call india <laughs> do you understand it brought about it now people say okay who is an india i say no india is uh, any person that uh, another person define another thing another. they say no 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 if that's the case we have no common country <laughs> what we are asking for in the we have no common country please we are not indians we are pakistanis we are muslim, muslim is a nation so is a pakistanis you are hindu if we stay here we will be killing ourselves and no person will talk about uh, development we will be vying controversy for power you know corroding ourselves little by little killing ourselves to take power so that the hindu we say is we uh, muslims we say is we you know, say if that's the case please take your india you are indians you speak hindi and you are hindus so is india your country we are not part of you we should be another country called pakistan that is who we are and they reshuffled themselves the people were sabi today they are they are enjoying it that sacrifice that reality they faced before 1947 that they faced the reality that time and today they are standing tall they are both nuclear powers <laughs> you understand you understand me india cannot meddle in pakistanis affair pakistan cannot meddle in india's affair both of them are developing at their own pace in their own ideology their religion their culture that is what nigeria failed to do they never defined who a nigerian is we are the caliphate said that nigeria should be the, the uh, i mean the estate continuation of the estate of their great grandfather and you i say biafran you oh nigeria oh our nigeria we want to make it in nigeria we build in lagos we build in <laughs> you saw in the video where peter b was uh, reading one whatsapp message or social media message somebody was commenting i think i have seen that thing before oh don't do not vote for bio it will be if you vote for B O B, it will be a, a ebos relocating from uh lagos they will no more build because they will develop their own side they will have a, a, a i mean a, 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 
wharf, seaport, in rivers, in a uh, Igorcha, in a uh, Wari, in a uh, uh, Calabar. Then we have international airports. So Lagos will fall. People will no more build. build. Do you see the definition? His own their own definition of Nigeria. But you, you don't understand. That is why we are here to open your eyes to the reality. Facing the reality. Nigeria is undefined. This uh, so-called election provides us with more confirmation that there is nothing as Nigeria. It is all, ab all about the unfortunate nations that are forced to live together by foreigners. That is Britain. That we are that we are and is still manifesting today. Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, Christian, Muslim. Now the question I ask is who and what is a Nigerian? <laughs> that is a question they can never answer. No person wants to face the, that reality. Uh, you, can you imagine somebody in the Senate, in the Nigerian Senate, rose up and now boldly and asked, please, I want to ask who is a Nigerian? What is a Nigerian? Now leave it like that. Let people start as answering. You will see different answers. Call a Fulani Caliphate. They will talk their own Nigeria. Uh, call a Iboman, the different thing. Call a Yoruba person, different thing. Now you say, oh, do you see the problem we are having? It's not about corruption. It's about the definition of a Nigeria. Nigeria has not been defined. You know, it's just like a land that has not been measured. Nothing. It's just an in a empty, empty land like that. You are just there. When you want to put a structure, you define it. <laughs> Do you understand? You measure it. You define it. In order to understand how things will be. But Nigeria is just like that. An entity brought in by uh, Britain. You, 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 you are all Nigerians. And everybody. Uh, the worst part of it is that our people, Igbo people, start going about everywhere, building. You know, even after the war, common sense should tell them that look, you are, uh, you have to live, have, uh, you know, number six. You even if you travel, okay, they make sure they make policies that everybody should move around. Now we should run away from our land. You go there, you make your money. Now you bring it to our land. You put your main structure. You you know you establish, but no way. Today have become a problem. It become our properties everywhere have become blackmail. It become an object of blackmail. Now, if you people don't do this, eh, no Igbo man will come out from Kano. Your whole properties will be lost. The other, is, it not, is it not yesterday they burned down a uh, Igbo controlled market in Medugri? The, the one market in Medugri. Is it not? Is it not? I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. And you see, as they burn it down, other people are going to uh, 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 price the shop. Uh, that ashes people are uh, uh, if you are no more i beg i will buy i will pay how much you don't learn that is why you know sometimes it seems i i concur with uh, one of our brothers that say uh, it's better for one big calamity fall every year from at a time so that people will start rising up you know why our people were able to galvanize quickly to fight the clear Biafra before? You know why? Because of calamity in the north. Now, when they run down, some even go to Lagos. There, the Lagos uh, West started killing. No place is safe for any Igbo man. Not, not uh, when I say Igbo man, any Biafra. Both a Joe, both a Ibibio. All. They are being persecuted. <laughs> so that uh, people people from north they run to middle bed oh, they were killed slaughtered they went to uh, Lagos Oyo, Ondo, they were slaughtered now they say nah there is no need though. that is the only thing that we galvanize uh, Biafrans more <laughs> had it been that thing only happened in the north I'm telling you they'll come back and stay in southwest some stay in a uh, middle bed and after 
you know, their normal, usual church going prayer, being comforted by their that that everything will be okay. Don't worry. If you are, they say, ah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't affect us here. Oh, no, no, go outside here. No, do not worry. We are okay here. Oh, here in Lagos, nothing. But the worst is that it happened everywhere at a time. No, we are was safe for Ibo man. That is when they come now. They hold the Juku hostage. They held the Juku hostage. Say, oh boy, declare beer for now. If you don't want to declare, is the Ojuku didn't even want to declare anything. Want, uh, he wanted to find the Pacific. Uh, he said, which can, he negotiated and uh, had a you know a negotiation, negotiated settlement. With go on, go on. I showed him. Say no, you know. Don't worry. Everything now is okay. Ojuku now announced to everybody. Oh yeah, you people can go back. Go back to your places of abode. Everywhere is safe. When the people went back that time, eh? That time, can you zero your own? People we are slaughtered. They were slaughtered like anything. Now when they came, few, few that returned returned with a red eye. They say this man. If you know declare Biafra, we will pursue you here, and another person we will bring a Unishin another another boy, another boy to declare Biafra. Lead us. Do you see when Ibo man can act? That is that time. was here in action. No That is the that is the reason. The, our people held the Juku hostage and say, if you cannot do this, declare Biafra, we will look for another person to do it for you. And you are gone. We pursue you from here. Do you see how our people act? Do you see what is republicanism? That is genuine democracy. From the people. Or you could tell them, say, now wow, you know it's your we have no standing army. We, 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 anything can happen. He said, declare it. We are no more safe. No. People, we are enthusiastic about it. Because no more, nowhere is safe for them. No place. No. Lagos was not safe. So any part of Southwest was not safe. Middle Bay was not safe for them. North was not safe. Say, what are we doing? Okay. Let us cuckoo die. That is when Igbo man can react. <laughs> reaction they are not proactive they are always reactive but here on radio biafra mazin namdekano has been teaching us to be proactive calculative and that is what we are trying to bring out to our people you have seen it <laughs> you understand this shrad they are called I mean, this shot they called election also exposed and confirmed our worry that Nigeria is the problem. We are children as young as four years old. We are seen voting. And the Nigerian police, we are defending them to the media. All these are to make sure that their own definition of a Nigerian is imposed on everybody. You see, you see videos. Uh, babies of uh, three, four years. We are uh, to print it. Voting one, I don't know whether he is up to three years. Even they say, Bring out, he bring he brought out his uh, PVC. He say, Ah, he don't even he cannot even talk. And the police, the Nigerian force, the Nigerian police boss is uh, on a looking at the camera, telling people, telling zombies that look, these people uh, they are not uh, your babies as you think, maybe they have stunted growth. Do you see how they are imposing their own definition of Nigeria on everybody? That is what you are suffering. That is why I say Nigeria is the problem. Because Nigeria has not been properly defined. Everyone has their own uh, definition of Nigeria. There is no common definition of a Nigerian or what Nigeria is. Do you understand? So, every other person is trying to work upon their own definition of a Nigerian or Nigeria. That is why, you know, in the north, do you see them making noise? They carry the voters, uh, they, they are some printing, you know, it's work. They gather people, maybe they pay. And, uh, because they are trying to impose their own definition on everybody. You know that I think that Nigeria is a, uh, is a place I have to make fine. Now you become uh, uh, an angel. 
You want to be civilized in the midst of jackals. It can never work. You must be radicalized. That's it. Let us face the reality. That is what I'm talking about today. How can you expect Nigerian elections to be free, fair, and credible? Whereas Nigeria was formed on a fraudulent foundation of elections and the population census frauds and rigging manipulations by Britain. <laughs> and do you remember in 1923 election, it was rigged by Britain. Uh, and Herbert Macaulay, the founder of the Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP, was sentenced to two years jail terms. Macaulay was barred from running for public office because of legal problems. He was convicted twice by the colonial government in Lagos. The first time for fraud and the second time for sedition. All this, for, in order, they, they brought the blueprint of what you are seeing today. If you understand me. They blackmailed him about Macaulay that was fighting, trying to motivate people to fight for independence from the party and, and then the people. And uh, Britain, you know, rigged the whole thing and uh, manipulated, put him in jail. Say no, you, you, you know, they blackmailed him and put him into jail. <laughs> no, he didn't stop. But in the uh, in the one of uh, Azikiwe, the same thing they did to Azikiwe, they encouraged Azikiwe to borrow, ba to borrow bad debt, to borrow money. They become bad debt. They pretend as if they didn't see. Now. They, they know they are going to use it to blackmail him, to manipulate him, behave as he want, as they want. Now, as a president, he want to presidential admission. They told him that now you can be a president, but you have no power. The power will belong to the prime minister. He want to talk. Say why? You, they, 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 they refer him. They, do you remember the money you borrow? Do you remember if we expose it to the press now you go to jail and you, you'll be disgraced. You will not even know who, who the president is again. You'll be languishing in jail. Do you know that? So if you keep quiet, play to our rules. We will not talk. We'll make you a president to that thing you want. If you want big limousine, we will bring for you. No problem. You will be answering president, but you have no single power. You cannot command a, even a fly. Okay? okay, Azikiwe was was scared to hell. Instead of him going to jail, he agreed. The M16, British M16, said, "Okay, now you're a good boy. We will make you the president, and no person we know. Only what you carry is name. That is why they spread Zik's name now. Now he speaks grammar. Zik has so long. So Zik Kuna. It is the M16. What they did without our people knowing that Zik has no single power. In his privacy, he will be crying, crying. Ima enwe tiye ne si me woken run so ya wone ba kwa ne ba kwa bali only him because of his his predicament. <laughs> they did it to Macaulay. So, people that did all these things, United Kingdom, Britain, that organized and did this type of, committed these types of atrocities. Now, they, they manipulated the Nigerian first elections, 1923. They rigged it. You understand? Britain also manipulated and rigged the 1952 census and 1959 general election. Now, how do you think that uh, uh, I think uh, Katrina Leng have been running have been running Nigeria virtually. Now these people we organize a free and fair election, right? Is that what you think? It is for us, the people suffering, to define Nigeria. And we know that Nigeria is the problem because there is no common definition of Nigeria. That is why IPOB is doing what we are doing. Because we know that Nigeria is unsalvageable, is irredeemable, is unfixable. Where are you going to start fixing? Are you going to start fixing from people? How are you going to change people's mentality? How? In order to build a country, you start by education. Education means changing people's mentality. You teach patriotism right from kindergarten. You teach right, right, your own right, human right, right from kindergarten. They grow with it so that people become honest. 
so that people will become passionate about the country, uh, define the country. But in Nigeria, you don't have it. People are suffering. That is why I always say, you destroy Nigeria to save the lives of the pe people in that, or unfortunate enough to be in that entity. Or you continue, Britain continue patching and encouraging Nigeria to the detriment of the people. You understand? Therefore, the reality remains that Nigeria is an undefined entity. Nigeria as an undefined entity is the problem. We shouldn't continue to try to pretend that Nigeria could be fixed. It is simply irredeemable, unfixable, unsalvageable. That is the reality. I will go into a few minutes break because this is where I'm going to stop so that when I come back, I will open the lines so that people will start calling. Please do not go away. I will be right back. Right, it's not. It's not even about. Right, it's not. It's not even about about uh, destroying stuff. This is a, this is a height of this is a height of the seats I've ever seen the Anega zone. Forget they told us that beavers. I was directly in charge of the beavers. I wanted to just be at the forefront to see the end of this thing. All this thing that they're making out and doing it. Let me see how this election will. Because me, I know this country. They manipulate it. They manipulate it, trying to transmit results. Since yesterday, as the results is coming, they will try to transmit, but they they just shut down NATO. We cannot do anything. We can't even export the number of accredited voters. We can't even do anything. See, like maybe around 11 p.m. or so, that last night before they now say okay that if the since the thing is not going uh, off, offline, that's even after they. They went from the result from the field. They went and still manipulated at the Anik this thing around center. Still manipulated all those results. All those things that that to be won. I, I have all the results that I can forward to you. But we did not win anything again. I'm telling you. So for, forget, 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 forget. I'm I'm done with this country. The only thing that is left just to divide this country. That's all. But if to say you are fighting for a better Nigeria, I don't see. I, the, this is the height of it. I I can't. Honestly, if it's too far, doesn't see when I to travel out, or maybe they, they divide the country, that's all. But if you say have confidence or say this thing for this country, lie, lie. Then after after they finish manipulating, they now ask us to transmit me, to transmit the manipulated results. I can't do it. I can't transmit all those manipulated results. I just I have to leave. I told them I'm leaving this morning. Go we'll see try itself. They say, okay, that we should just transmit offline. You know, offline, nobody will see it. At least, just to show that we have transmitted. But it's just within the ANEC uh, profile. You, you can't, nobody can see it on, online. After I'm manipulating the result, they ask me I should transmit. After I'm not transmitting anything, I'm not transmitting one thing. Let them just do anything they want to do. I just leave the viewers and, and I'm, I'm going home now. I'm going home now. They are finished. But I have those ones that, they, those, both the original ones and those on them. So just forget this country. There's nothing, all, I forget ANEC. ANEC is not independent. If they say they will transmit result, they will do, they didn't transmit nothing. Shut down the network everything since I used to be see this morning. Nothing you can't transmit anything now. Say okay, this morning I should just leave the beavers and go home. See now, so I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, I mean, just, for, just forget this country. I beg, forget it. It's not worth it. The stress is not worth fighting for at all. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I need that you have confidence. Okay, anyhow, at least this, this one, this particular one, they will do it. So I say, okay, let me see the end of this thing. Nothing, forget. Forget. Since on Friday, been on the field, sleepless nights, walk, walking up and down. See now, so for, just forget the country. Forget they have done what they want to do. Forget it. So. This new nation called Nigeria shall be an extension of the estate of a great father, Usman Danfodio. We must ruthlessly prevent a change of government. We must use the people of the Middle Belt as willing tools, and the people of South as conquered territory, and never let them rule over us. Never. Let them control their own future. 
preached by Sir Akmodo Bello on 12th October 1960. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra London. Today is the 27th day of February 2023. We are here live and direct at We are here live and direct. Our lines are now opened and we take some calls. Yes. Our direct line is plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. I repeat. Plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I have callers already lining up. Caller on WhatsApp, welcome to the program Marzi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mazi. Ndewo. Ndewo. Ndewo, my brother. Good evening to you from here. Mazi Chukodi here. Ndewo. Yeah. Um, it, is, it is good that we talk about this once again. You know, this uh, issue of uh, election. Um, of course. Yes, Your concerns yes, us directly and indirectly. Of course. That's correct. That's correct, my chief. Yes. Um... You know, I always like appreciate you so much. You know, I used to call you my lecturer from the beginning because you bring so many light to some of these things happening in in a very bitter pill that we need to take. And then, uh, you know, when we are young, they give us uh, they force us to um, to put uh, this pump on our anus or give us um, sometimes loan or milli name in you know, order for we to get well. But sometimes we feel like. Uh, there's no love there, but that was the great love, you know. So, so what you're producing here is a great love and lesson um, to to our people. And I believe that the Radio Biafra is listening wide and near, also around Nigeria, uh, Zoo called Nigeria. You know, um, it's just just that um, Ndibo, Ndibo is um, is one race that uh, we are who we are. Um, uh, it happened to our genetic, we call them the people from the Israel. You know, it was the same thing. They were killing them. They, they were saying, no, it's not happening in our side. It's only happening in Germany. You know, they say, oh, they, it was, they, it, some were happening in Italy. No, it's, it's not on our side. Until when it went round at the same time and uh, over five million people were killed and then they learned their lessons. Um, just like you said about what happened in 1966 through 1967, uh, where our people are always trying to save Nigeria, we the most brilliant people in that country, but we become so foolish. You know, um, Zeke was doing the same thing. He later become a celebrated the president, while well, well, he wasn't making a decision. Now, and this our brother here, you know. I was, there's one program of when I was listening to. He was making a comment. He said um, the North were saying that they are, uh, the full and Nicholas are they are misguided. Some of them we are putting into the army and the rest of them. And um, after killing so many people, without going through a process, maybe if there was a rehabilitation, then they put them in the army. And our people, politicians, we now go and ask those people to come and then kill ourselves, kill their, their own people. You know what is that? What happened in Igbo? It taught me a very big lesson. Uh, of uh, you know, Obi was clapping for Wiki when he was busy killing people in Obi. And then now, this is um, exactly what Obi get from Wiki after supporting him for killing his people. Now in Lagos, now some of our people's business have gone down. Uh, in Medukri, it has happened. In so many other places, our people have been killed. Businesses are here somewhere in Oyo, somewhere in Oyo, in Ekiti. Our people are running Heta Skelter. Their things are being destroyed. 
uh, maybe let's hope this will teach them a lesson. Uh, some of them were saying, mobilize and fight back. Uh, some of them were saying, uh, start returning back home. Uh, let's see how it works with them. Like if this will actually uh, bring us together to learn our lessons that um, we have no place. Obi made so many kind of mistakes, so many type of mistakes. Uh, you know, during the time he was being asked about uh, Biafra, he, he said all kind of things. He said that Biafra is dead. Now, who are who are the people who is going to now speak for him? They are Biafrans also. That is going to speak for him. Instead of no, not even answering that question. I remember one young star was asking me a question about what does he think about the IPOB. He said he had done it in the past by killing his people. He is ready to do even worse than that. But something struck me yesterday when the, the lesson was going on on Saturday. Obi was sitting in his uh, parlor, and then there was a, a message on WhatsApp that came to him. Uh, it was from uh, Tilimbo's uh, group. I think it's one of the ones that he wanted to talk about. It was from Tilimbo. Uh, he mentioned it. He asked one of the people sitting with him to read what is what they said there. Tilimbo said, "Voting for Peter Obi means." They are not going to come and build here, and they are also going to return back home to have their own seaport. Mas, do, you know, that, Mas, do you know that directly and indirectly they are calling evil people very stupid people, and they are accepting it? That's correct. Do you know that? That's that's, that's correct. When they say that, oh, you uh, tomorrow now they will come. Oh, we are one. We are one. Uh, one Nigeria. You are come. Don't worry. They will show them, uh, 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 you know, poto poto. You see, yes. part of the sea, they will to buy it and you. fill it. You know? Yes. But when it comes to another, mm -hmm. things like this, we are citizens, citizenship should play a very big role. Now, they, you, they know that, uh, <laughs> they tell you that you are not, you are not from here. This hatred That's of Libos um, is out of this earth. That is why our bad. people should gather, we should support IPOB with all our life. Mazi, go on, please, a round up. Yes, so so that's that's our people. The, the, I, I have a problem if uh, some of the leaders of the businesses in uh, in Lagos and uh, Abuja and so many other places should form uh, a way of uh, thinking towards uh, supporting IPOB and start returning back home to build our land. And uh, that's the very important they should do, and they should do it very quick because they are not safe in any place in Nigeria. If this comes to pass, if they don't stop this and it escalates, or if it didn't escalate, they will go down again and get, keep on building. And one day they'll still come back and they still kill them and destroy their property. They should think. They should think. They should think. They should think. We know that very well Nigeria does not belong to us. There is something that I believe that is playing out here. If they don't give Tilimbu this particular election, Tilimbu is going to expose the death of Buhari. And if uh, if they don't uh, give it to if they give it to Obi, it's going to be a doom to most of the politicians. If they give it to Atiku, um, Obi or Atiku might not accept it. So I think it's going to be a marathon for all of them but they should our people should be very careful i i don't i don't really support uh, they said fight back fight back it depends on where you are if you are in a ladipo or where the Igbo people are so much you can fight back but you find yourself in some street that is two three Igbo people stay there they'll come there and kill you are you going to fight who from who so, and uh, you're fighting them from their land uh, please our people should learn and start uh, thinking what they need to do to save themselves from this uh, impending doom. Mazi, thank you so much for your program. This there war. There war. There war. There war. Let me let me make it clear because uh, the message our brother said, I said it. I've read that message before. Maybe they forwarded it to Pitobi. It's uh, an old message. I've seen it. I myself. I don't know who brought it, but I know it's not tenable for record purposes. Uh, that uh, voting for Igbo man means uh, voting for seaport <laughs> in Yugocha, uh, voting for seaport in Calabar, uh, voting, voting for airport in uh, southeast or south-south, and the Igbos will stop building in Lagos. 
you know the these people ibos have been insulted directly but the worst part of it is that they accept that insult as long as they are there we making money sometimes i say what type of dignity do we have dignity at all Martin Lam the Kano came and rose dignity in us. The old, the, our old self. Because Nigeria destroyed us. I'm telling you. He made the sentence also that no more dignity. That is why you see our musicians, Igbo musicians. Only thing they sing about is Igbo Tiken. About a man and woman. Nothing more. Love, Igbo Tiken. Ego. Uh, you know, this this is the destruction of Nigeria against us. You know, to destroy is very easy. Do you see the uh, if uh, a building that maybe you can use one year to build a house to destroy it under twenty four hours is being destroyed. Destruction is 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 very easy. They messed up our brains, our way of behavior, our thinking. But building up, reversing it is, is very difficult. Oh, but not impossible. We continue doing what we are doing. They turned that Nigeria turned our people. We no more have honor. We no more have dignity. All that matters is where you can get uh, at least money, food to eat. Now they now go outside. They now here now here more than now. I know it doesn't matter the situation they put you in. It doesn't matter. You will be hiding, even where you are living. You cannot talk, speak in a loud voice in your own so-called country. You will be hiding your identity as an Igbo man. You pretend you are now some man. You will be wearing your jalabia. Their jalabia. All the some people say they live where they live in Ugo so They never knew that they are Igbo man. Living fake life is lack of honor because you are making you want you are making one chunk chunk or not is more important than life itself that is it caller on signal welcome to the program can you hear me no as in there oh. caller on signal yes Mas, jonathan i can hear you loud and clear i there. hope i'm coming out brother yes you are there oh. okay thank you so much my beloved brother um my bless you Mazi jonathan for educating our people, for we to know what time it is. And we are listening anytime you come in this hallowed platform. Um, continue to say, continue to guide and protect Mazin Nabikano, our leader. And unconditional release, which the zoo, the zoo country called, called Nigeria, how their court have released him and discharged him and acquitted, acquitted him. We ask the zoo to do the need for. They should release this man, a man, a, a, a prisoner of conscience. They should release him because they have found nothing in him. His hands are clean. And I want to tell our people to continue to do the need for until our leader, Mazin and the Khan, is being released unconditionally. And together, all of us must continue to fight until Biafra is being restored. Just as you used to say, Master Jonathan, there is no back to go. Fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom, my name is Mazia Kass. I'm calling from Austria, and I serve the indigenous, indigenous people of Biafra as Austrian National PR. Mazi, thank you for speaking out what is happening in the zoo concerning their selection. We told them, but they never believed. Mazi man, they cannot told them. Most of them never believe. Where are the so called Tonin, Tonin, Nadi, Tonin, Kaku, carrying file all over, talking about New Nigeria? Osetigo now is playing in their eyes. Many of them is crying now. They are crying my, my eyes. Some of them they carry one side of injury, their legs, their hands. Some of them, their head, they are broken. Now they are, they are, they don't even thank God that the, the killings were, was limited. Because when we told them that Nigeria is unsalvageable, Maz, they Maz, are, they are you sure? Are you Nigeria sure the killing is not is not even started? It has not started even. <laughs> Worse is coming. <laughs> Just let us watch in these few days. God, Mazi. 
Mazi, 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 Jonathan. This is how this uh, this Biafra under the leadership of Mazi Nandikano, DOS led by Mazi Chikadosia. This is how powerful we are to take a decision that that takes that is exactly what what Caesar Caesar did when they want to crucify the so the 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 Iowa Yeshua. He said, "Give me, give me, give me water to wash my hands." I'm not included in this thing. Anything that happened to this man is on your head. This is exactly what the Jew has played. And said, we are not going to put our... We, it doesn't concern us the, the selection. If you like, go. If you like, don't go. It doesn't concern us. All we ask is a day for referendum and unconditional release of all the demands in the Kabul. Finito! And today, every blame they're supposed to pay on the IPOP. We are done, we are folding our hand watching them. If one of our brother or them are joining, he said after this IPOP will get many, many back. back. <laughs> I begin to laugh. These people don't know what is coming after them. That Nigeria is not a place where they can be able to do a free and fair election. I see that guy walking with the with the head. What's he saying? Now you know that Nigeria is fed up. This is what our leader Mazi Nandikan has been shouting, and the so called evil, the so called evil politicians, the wicked money, bring your prime minister and go and kidnap their own brother from Kenya, torture him. Some of them are still the reason why they are keeping our leader today, because they know that the reason of our leader Mazi Nandikan will make a very irrelevant, who will make the, who will change the whole atmosphere. They are saying to pick this man. But we are watching the zoo. We are we are seven head at a step of whatever they are, they are trying to do. Where is it going to do? Chineke, 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 Chineke. Have you seen how Nigeria works? So now people be no, know that uh, <laughs> no, they are trying to play a clip. How they are telling them voting for him will bring the seaport in, 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 in Biafra land. Or will bring the port in Biafra land. Now you know. When we are telling him that everything and goes out there, it's something, man. Oh, Mazio, Mazio, don't know this. What's that is it? Man, come back, come back. You're not fishing, man. 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 I will go. At the end of the day, they gave him a president that he cannot do anything with the people and all that. He's carrying police for the whole thing around. Why the fuck are you going to go? Who's the one? The Nigerian Prime Minister. I can you imagine when the man comes here? Man, see, sometimes I ask myself, is he not better what repeated in what repeat to repeat in in nineteen sixty seven to repeat again? Maybe our people will learn the lesson for second time. Because the more you are telling people that they are still running in Nigeria, the more they are putting their hands. I was trying to. I was talking with somebody here. I told him that you can predict Nigeria. You don't need to be a prophet to predict Nigeria. But this thing at the end of the day, they will read your lesson. You are, I, I, you cannot even look at my face. You saw me, you saw me on front. You could not even look at my face. You, you know, I can go, 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 go. This person, this man is the one that bottles me. This is some of our brother who are living here in the Western world. Who have seen what the hell life used to be. Who have seen how the best supporting their people. Trying to please the people in every area, they know that they can do to make the people happy. The same people will still come out to talking about Nigeria. We are the runaway. People when they wanted to deport them, they go and take a lawyer to fight for them to remain here. But the same person will tell me, I love Nigeria. You see, I'm not going to go to your family. Then your life and the life of your family will be as next Nigeria. Which has to be destiny killer. If you are if you are not shining, I watch at this guy now that's playing football in Napoli. I'm, I'm trying to digest a little more. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm summarizing. With a plane to the, this guy or or what is uh, what is one of the best players now in, 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 in Napoli, Italy. He was narrating the how he suffered in the zoo. But look at now in Italy. Look, he went to Italy. They bought him. Look at how this guy is doing well. Bring the same this boy. Bring the same this boy now back to Nigeria. They will destroy his destiny. 
How long can our people continue to live in this animal country called Nigeria? How long can you keep on taking this into the you? You don't know how to let us do this. Get our POB and let us go from this place we are. If Nigeria cannot help all of us, either they will be killing us every day. If you, you bring your head, they will kill you. Using these animals, they, they are called politicians. To be killing our people. And the better the, our people understood what we are telling them. Or who are even going from? We will come here to be analyzing how they are killing them. Because in the bad I'm here. All that goes on and give us what? They were. They were. Okay, my bless you, my brother. You Thank you, Mazi. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Caller on direct line. Thank you for holding on. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line. Caller on direct line. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Please go on. Caller on direct line. No. The line just cut. I don't know why. Caller on direct line. Your line just cut off. Now, caller on... Uh, let me see. What's up? Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Call on. What's up? Good evening, Mazi. Jonathan Chinedu. Mazi, please. Hey, you, can you hold on still? Hold on. Let me. Okay, go on. Go on. Okay. Okay. Go on. No, go on. Go on. Don't worry. Go on. Go on. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, dear friends. Good morning. Good afternoon. Depending on your time zone. This is Mazi Bernard Wakwe, all the way from Mozambique. Mazi Chinedu, may Elohim continue to bless your efforts, all our radio presenters. You guys are doing marvelously well. And also, may Elohim continue to protect our Supreme Leader, Unyanduma Adenam the Iroko of our time, the man that has brought us together. I used to say to my friends, if you if you don't listen to our leader Onyan Dumazinam de Kano, that means you are lost. Yeah, because uh, there are so many things that Elohim has deposited inside him. Yeah, there are so many things that Elohim has deposited into him that you do not have. Once again, coming back to what is playing right now, I think uh, I want to give uh, kudos to our DOS. They are wise men. IPOB, we are seven steps ahead of our enemies. They tried all they could to lure us into this their shirad, but we said no to them. Just look at what is happening. When there was this uh, little uh, uprising, uh, interrogation from some hoodlums somewhere in Egypt, Ibarra, Ibarra, somewhere in Lagos State, they told our people, they said, before you, you, you even think of traveling abroad, you must first of all come to Lagos. That, that is our uh, takeoff point. You cannot travel from where you are, your own region, without first of all coming into Lagos and from there you will take off. I mean, how I wish Ndebo will come back home, will come back to our senses. A lot of us, what is happening to us? I don't know, even after all that our leader had preached on this hallowed platform, still our people, we have, I don't know who has bewitched us. What is happening to us today is as if nobody has spoken to us. But in the other way around, he has done his best. Our leader has done his best. It is time we we'll come back. When he hear Nigeria again, nothing good will come out from Nigeria. And we have any, any positive plans for us, dear friends. They don't like you. Think the Buddhists don't like God is something before a love will be here. These people they don't like us. They don't like you and they can never love you. So all these people my dear, it will never work. One Nigeria is a scam. That man of God, that priest, he said it. That one Nigeria is a scam. It's a scam. The foundation is the wrong. 
Omo he he get make or walk or this energy I ne waste. Let us bring it back. Iji well on my. The only remedy, the only solution, is for us to have Biafra. That tomorrow, as soon as I am go why that does not mean we have become enemies to one another. No. For example, I am on Mozambique today. I am I abide by Wundi Mozambique. The same thing. Nanya will go why tomorrow when they are coming to our region. They will abide by our rules. When we also want to go to them, we will abide by their own rules. So our people, this very time, I know, it's a hard time. We are learning it in a hard way. So Umuibo, Umu Biafra, wherever you are, stop wasting your time trying to fix what you can, what can never be fixed. Nigeria can never be fixed. So anybody channeling his or her strength trying to fix Nigeria, the more you clamor for one Nigeria, the more your pain is increasing. The more our pain will be increasing every day by day. So Biafrans, it's high time we start thinking home. It's high time we should start thinking about Biafra, our land. That is our land. Because you see, because you continue to strengthen you. No, 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 almost help Biafra. Help Biafra. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Please go on. Marzi, can you hear me? Call on direct line. Uh, good morning, Black friends. Good afternoon. Good night, whatever time zone are day. My name is Judo Kafo. Judo Kafo is from Agbo. Agbo is in Anioma. Anioma is in Biafra land, and Anioma people are Igbo people 100%. Marzi, I so much like the way that the DOS and HOD, they keep quiet. In this time, I so much like the way that they didn't give order to vote or not to vote. Because if not, they will be blaming IPOB. That, that's why uh, Tunubu, that's why election is going the way it's going. I thank God that we are more wiser than the zoo called Nigeria. Biafrans are more wiser. We, our leader told them that what we need is a referendum, not a lesson, because they will never allow any an evil man to be a president of Nigeria. What is going on today? In Medvi, they are burning our markets. In Lagos, they are attacking us. What, are, what has an evil man done to the zoo, Nigeria? What has an evil man done to you people? Eh? We want to go. No. Why? We need referendum because we have more challenges in that is waiting for us. The full and enhanced men in our bushes and in our villages. Who is doing something about it? The, while we are voting and collecting PVC, PVC and votes, Full and investment, they are increasing in our communities. They are buying more ammunition. As a big campaign, how is going to bring full and investment for the bush from our communities? As Surubu told you people, how is going to bring full and from our villages? As I took, told you people, campaign. How is going to bring this danger? This impending danger right in our eyes, in our communities. In my own village in Ikaland, they are kidnapping people every day by day, hundred, fifty people in different villages. These are people that say they are not Igbo. They are from Bini. They are South South. So many people don't know you people are South South. Oh. One man is crying on Facebook from Ikaland, from Ato. He's crying that they are kidnapping our people from villages. You are not evil, but they are kidnapping you today. My people make you not get sense. Politicians don't care about you. 
Nigeria don't care about you. The only thing that will save you and your born generation and your family is Biafra. But I thank God my prayer every day is for this election to be problem in the zoo. So that out of the heart of the Dominican Republic of Nigeria, Biafra will rise. We are waiting for the doom of the Zoom so that we can take our freedom. Tukwa Biama is in charge. Tukwa Biama is in control. We are fighting for the restoration of the kingdom of God on earth, which is Biafra. And today, I am hearing news. I see on Facebook that our leader is not doing good. They have to rush our leader to a poor facility in the DSS dungeon. Our leader is not doing good. A man that sacrificed himself, a man that left his comfort to fight for Biafra. Today, we have people on one leg in freedom fighting and one leg in obedience. They have forget about the man that lay his life for the freedom of his people. Marcin and the Kano. If you are a human being, you will not even be at that forty place where you think about the sacrifice that our leader have sacrificed. Our leader was not fighting for himself or his family. Our leader was fighting for the total emancipation of people. But today, we forget our leader and we want to vote for the zoo. More in, vote ourselves in more bondage, more bondage. Obedient. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You cannot be a freedom fighter and at the same time be a, go, go, to a, go and vote in the zoo in a place that you say is not your home. But what is playing now? Our leader have told us countless of time that Biafra is the last miracle. And Tukwa Biama is about to do a miracle. In the midst of this troubled zoo election, we must get Biafra. And all of us must live long to see Biafra in our time. In the name of Tukwa Okike Abiyama's name, I pray. You see? You see, you see. Thank you, Marzi. There were, there were. Caller on signal. Thank you for holding on for 10 minutes. Welcome to the program. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? The Dutch Kudarege, one name, okay. The Kudarege. Yeah, in Radio Biafra. This, the words that come from this very radio is a foot or so. This is the, the reason why we are still living. If not, uh, by now, I know, you know, leave this world uh, and go away because nothing in this will interest anybody, any one of us at all. My joy is that Ellen is in charge. From the first day, I heard the, the voice of Martin and the Colonel since 2012. I, 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 I know that this very man, you know, was sent by God. And today we can see the confirmation. Marzi, do you know that God have exhausted, have exhausted IPOB above anything the zoo or the, the, the his agent, the, 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 the British will throw at us? So you see how the, how their, 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 their election is going. Just with one broadcast, everything, just all their plans just fell apart. I'm telling them that they are they are they are they are kind that they have. I call it three edge saw. Each each way they prefer. They like letting go and give it to the to rag, give it to any one of them. It will definitely bring you know. It will exhaust us. It will elevate us. It will even show the world and even the zoo citizens that what IP, IPOB have been right. One of the things I don't do is to argue a uh, person because I see them as compound and willing fools and understanding that 
Because you take what have happened to other nations other than Israel. If it's not until when Hitler killed them, they wouldn't have even you know paid attention to what the Zionist Muslims put mind put together and their mind and their force in order to actualize uh, the state of Israel, which they have enjoying today. I know that there is a big calamity that is awaiting the zoo. I do hear them talk. You know, people people that add, I, you and if you want to talk with them, they start talking by by faith, by quoting Bible. Why they have their PVC? What they are talking of? What they are arguing of? It is a physical thing that most countries have even you know gone past. Most countries are even presently doing it, you know, that they have to look at. They will tell you, you don't you know what God can do. God has relinquished these things to you as a human being. That is why he still all the enablement to, you know, take care of yourself in this area. Then you are relinquishing those things again that he gave you to him again. And I even quote the Bible because they love, they love quoting the Bible. I still tell them, say, say you are telling me that what God can do by faith, Abi. Then in that same Bible, they say faith without work is vain. Is vain. That means God wants you to have faith in him and also work it out. But these are human beings, just as you have said. Mazi, don't you see how South East have been come? To tell you that the Nigerian government and this, this thing, uh, uh, Eastern politicians, they are the people perpetrating all those things. So they say it's ITV yeah. that was doing it because of. Uh, when we tell them that. You read Jainaga. Even, I, I'm even looking at, like today I went out and I was just looking at my brother talking shit. And uh, they don't even know that I pick only people holding their destruction. If it's not the president of IP, you see that thing that transpired in 1960 something. That is what they are waiting. That their prop, their fear is IPOB. Truth to God, they are just doing it little by little, little by little. Truth to God, they would have gone hellwire. But they know that the presence of IPOB, huh? huh? They know what IPOB can do now. I just bless God for, 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 for you know, bringing us this far. And I know it will, he will definitely take us to our promised land. The sun guys, must shine. Thank you, sir. There war. There war. There war. Of course. You know, when, when uh, uh, the leadership, IPOB leadership, say go, we should go. When they say stop, you stop. That is it. Because they have information, calculations, which you are not seeing. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line, please. Can you hear me? Go on, please. There were. My name is Pirimen Chika from Obium Gabo Mazu. I'm calling from Benin, Kutunu Precise Lemazu. Mazu, you know, today, one Nigerian is, Igbo one Nigerian is, shame upon them. Shame upon them today. That is it. My leader said, go and serve Nigeria and come back in shame. And that is what is happening today in, in the zoo. This man who is the brother who come to support Ajin and the child or because he, he don't want their brother to come. He was, you know, the one that massacred the son of Mazar. You know, the different people did. Then whatever they have committed. And I, I blame the so-called youth who allowed themselves to be used by this evil politicians in our land. The politicians are using them. The crazy men, the pastors are also using them because the pastors to pay the pastors, they continue to be washing them, telling them to pray for the blood of Jesus. That they are going to call Jesus, a white man who goes, because of the people who come and protect them and fight their battle. Today, why he didn't come and fight that, that battle? You know what I mean? He's fighting everything physically, but he has Jesus, because of the Greek, he's coming to fight their own battle. If you talk, they tell you, don't you know what God can do? Because he has been brainwashed. All of you, shame upon you, shame upon you, all of you. We are not, we are not apologizing for anybody, shame upon you. This man come out to support us, what we are doing. So when the world has seen him in Calabante, they will say, ah, the evil who said that they have been marginalized in Nigeria, your brother is not the one complaining to rule Nigeria. Well, how did you be marginalized? Why your brother is there to contest? 
as a president. Now, this one has been, have you not been hearing the history of half anything that Nigeria brings to them? Didn't you know how they made the president that every seaport must remain in Lagos? So now Lagos has have gotten three seaports, the small seaport, only one seaport that's in Lagos. But in our land, they see everywhere, no seaport, no international airport, no industry, they block everything and force, us, force our people out from the land. And today, they are typically developing every part of the Nigeria. Can you imagine here that I'm living in Benahia? Our life is more safe in Benahia. I've never seen a policeman come gone to kill and a Benahia citizen living with that is here. Unless we fight, unless we come out to fight, and all is still. Or even, 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 even if you're a criminal, they will pursue you and catch you. They will pursue you and catch you. Unless you do something that is out of the law, they cannot shoot you here and then. Even now, you can take a police to market and buy something. Even now, the people. They are familiar to the other civilians, both we that is in here and then, and other people. But in that zoo, you can use their country. If we are pushing to the border area, your mind is you, 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 you not becoming afraid of it. You, 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 you know that you are entering into John when white animal, if you can, if you lie, 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 you can see tiger, eat, go ahead. If a tiger can kill cheetah, go ahead. If a cheetah can kill the bat, go ahead. Nobody asks question because it's the jungle, a lawless nation. You become afraid from the Singapore that down to, to Lagos, from Lagos to down to our, to our road. We are being kidnapped, killed, and tortured, and collected, collected money from our road. If the police did not kill you, I mean, you will kill you. If I mean, no kill you, that's will kill you. Or friend has been kidnapped and killed you. See, the so called zoo, Igbo, and the they have never left. They have never heard this history for how many years? They have been playing it. Will be, they not go to tell us that they have not known, they have not heard the history about the half of the that Nigeria belongs to them. And their agreement with the Muslim Muslim ticket in order to conquer, to fulfill the promise that they want the full needs, that they want to fulfill it. But still, he is there to deceive our people. And shame on those youth that are following them. Shame on the so called religious leaders, the so called pastors that are telling them to continue to pray for one Nigeria because they are eating the government. Because Allah is not going to be Shame on them. Let now do not come back and say, no, Nigeria is not Let us go and join IJP. Shame on you. Shame on you. You know what Nigeria is. Shame on you. You will never learn. You will never learn. Listen in Nigeria. The stupid people, you, you, you get sex. Now, the Fulani man who is in the forest does not, does, does not have sex. The sex you have is not only to only people white, white man grammar. Putting Bible, what the white man used to conquer our our forefathers as a slave. That's what you are putting every day by day. Putting every day by day. Second Peter say, second Matthew say, second chapter, Luke chapter, say. They ask that person, please, those people you are putting, are they your ancestors? What is about our culture? What one of our, our ancestors you know and the achievements they don't know? They are defending white man culture, white man world of life. They used to conquer us as slaves. The same, the same way, so they are using their version of Islam to conquer us as their own slaves. If you have gone, next 50 years, 100 years, our, our children will be defending Islam, defending Quran. If they are born and say anything, they will kill him, throw him to death, burn him to actually say that he, he, he has abused him, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, and that he, that he, 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 he has blasphemed Quran and the Islamic religion. We are not the only people who in our land. Not people who, who will never reason. Brainwash people who they, they have been they, they have been brainwashed into, into, into the land. Maz, good night. My name is Sirimen Chika from Obi Obi Jibu Gaba. I'm telling from Kitoni Maz. Good night. The war. We must continue. You know, as I said yesterday, uh, sometimes. We we do things in uh, another way, you know. Like I gave an example the other day when you are fishing through line. I mean, using line, Ari. When a fish swallows the distance, uh, uh, the the sinker, the hook, the bait. You have to release the line so that in order to make him to swallow. So what we do, what we did, we know the right thing, but we don't want, you know, our people, they need conviction. Conviction. Uh, you, you tell them that, look, they say, no, let us, you allow them. Allow them to swallow the bed so that they will see. 
Hey, boy, no, no, go the hoya. No, 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 we will do. Uh, we, we will fix Nigeria. Oh, don't worry. This time we are going to sleep. We are our own. We, we. It's okay. Oh. So that it will not be problem between us. That we are the people that stopped you from achieving your goal. And uh, <laughs> the result is coming. I will not talk yet. We must continue. But what I'm telling you is this. Nigeria is unfixable is unsalvageable is irredeemable because nigeria is the problem once you destroy that structure automatically the problem solves automatically everything falls into place this there will no more be oh you know about us everybody now will if you are in your own country your own natural nation there is nothing again you have to arrange yourself that's it. Caller on what's up? Thank you for holding on, Ma. Zay, you have hold on going to 20 minutes. Can you hear me? Call on what's up? Yeah, Ma. Zay, good evening, sir. Yeah, Ma. Zay, welcome to the program. Yes, Ma. Uh, my name is Paul, calling from Gabon. And Ma, thank you. Uh, uh, especially the leadership of IPP has already scored uh, uh, three not against the, the 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 zoo because when uh, 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 the leadership said that they are not part of this election, some feel that uh, the leadership just doesn't know what they are doing. But now you can see we have a already turn out. This is turn. I call it turn full not. We have we have scored them because uh, I assume that uh, we made a mistake or they have made a mistake. The first thing that is a, is a problem. Uh, cause problem. That's why uh, OB is not uh, going anywhere. But they can see that what our leader has been saying for a long time ago is what is happening. The zoo, uh, I, I, sometimes I used to say that uh, uh, state will give a zoo money and they must spend that money. Because when you receive money from Satan, if you do not spend that money, you will not have rest. Because they will give them money to spend. And that is the money they are spending and they are going to feed. They are going to sleep with that money. You can't tell you what is happening. It's to show you that a, 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 a blind man, they want to put a blind man in that seat of the, 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 the presidency. That's to show you that 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 place is already dead. They are dead. So I'm very, very sorry for our people who are still hope. He doesn't know the foundation of that zoo. That they say that there is no human man can rule that place. No human man. That's why we are, we are saying that we must go because they don't want us. They don't. Want, they don't allow us to go. They don't want to uh, develop our place. That is. They don't need us anyway. So, Mas, I want to speak something in French. That so, I, I, I'm sure that as far as Rene Biafra is concerned. There is some people who are listening to what is happening in the in the Biafra. I want to speak French and so that they can understand. And bonsoir, mes frères et sœurs, et bonne nuit, et bon, euh, 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 bonjour. Ça dépend dans le pays où tu te retrouves. Et quand tu t'écoutes bien, ça c'est le leader de Biafra. Le leader de Biafra, notre leader, c'est Mazi Nandekano. Qui, que, que, le, le temps du Géré est allé kidnapper au Kenya pour euh, mettre en prison à cause de cette, exec, cette exécution qui a été passée au Nigeria qui ne fout rien. Quand vous voyez bien tous les pays qui comprennent le français, quand vous voyez bien ce qui se passe au Nigeria euh, 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 actuellement, euh, euh, comme les élections, est-ce que ça c'est les élections Ça ce ne sont, sont pas les élections. Ça c'est les magouilles, ça c'est les tricheries qu'ils sont en train de faire au Nigeria. Et nous, les Biafrans, nous, nous avons au moins 80, 70 millions d'habitants. Quand vous voyez c'était un pays en Europe, il y a certains pays qui n'atteignent même pas un million, qui n'atteignent même pas deux millions, mais qui fait un pays. Mais nous sommes eh, 70 millions d'habitants. Et nous, notre côté, 
il y a beaucoup de choses, de rituels et tout, mais nous, nous ne voyons pas ça. Nos enfants n'apprennent pas. Nos enfants ne sont pas à l'école. Et là, pourquoi nous voulons, nous demandons l'opinion internationale de venir, de, de se lever. Vous voyez ce qui se passe au Nigeria. Et, et nous, nous, parce que vous tous qui sont là, qui ne parlent pas, Dieu, tu peux ça, on va vous chicoter. Dieu, tout le temps, vous vous posez la question que vous ne voyez pas ce qui se passe au Nigeria, vous ne voyez pas les tueries que les Nigériens sont en train de faire chez nous, avec les militaires. Envoyer les militaires chez nous, nous tuer, et avec nos frères politiciens. Qui nous... Parce que les enfants sont en haut, les enfants sont à l'étranger, après, ils sont en haut, ils ne voient pas que les, les pauvres souffrent. Donc voilà pour nous appeler aujourd'hui tous les pays africains qui parlent le français, qui écoutent le français, qui aiment la liberté de se lever contre l'injustice qui se passe au Nigeria. Ça, c'est une justice. Et moi, je l'idée, on a déjà jugé que moi, je l'ai déjà libéré. Il n'y a pas aucun tribunal au Nigeria qui pourra juger cette affaire. Parce que les temps Nigeria ont allé qu'il n'a pas notre leader au Kenya. Jusqu'alors, notre leader, il est encore en prison. Donc, je demande tous les pays Afri euh, africains, les pays de monde qui parlent français, qui aiment la li liberté, de se lever contre les choses qui se passent au Nigeria. Vous voyez les élections qui se passent au Nigeria Ça, ce n'est pas les élections. Ça, c'est la future. So, my brother, um, as I'm saying this evening, all the fans, all I believe around the world, must stand up now. Ooh, continue what you are doing, because sometimes when you are in, in aeroplane, uh, there will be a time the pilot will, will ask you to uh, put your seatbelt because uh, uh, they are about to land. Now, I'm pleading to all people around the world to put your seatbelt. IPB, we are most, we must testify, we must uh, make sure that the world understand that you never wants to go, no going back about it. So, Mazi, I'm, th I'm thanking you and all the radio presenters in this uh, platform and with the leadership of IPB, you people, are, you people are, have won again. Turn out to the zoo. Thank you, Mazi. I'm very, very happy for what is happening around the world, especially concerning the Biafra nation. We must go. Mazi Nakal must be liberated. Thank you. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Uh, sorry, caller on signal. I think you'll be the last caller. Caller on signal, can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Hello, Mazin Dewo. I can hear you clearly. Hello, Dodrege Dewo. Mazin, thank you for what you do for the motherland. Uh, Biafra is the reward. I mean, Biafra is the only reward. Nothing more, nothing less. Because we all shall live to see Biafra in the name of people of Kabem. You see? You see? You see? Um, I'm calling on international communities. The world at large. I'm using this opportunity to call on them to compel our Nigerian government to release our leader, my leader, William Dumas and Nandekano, a prisoner of conscience, a man who has done nothing than asking for the freedom of his people from this racial construct called Zugeria that is being come together by British through their prose. Lolugad and Flora Shaw. Bringing, because they after creating Nigeria, he himself confessed that it's like oil and water that cannot mix together. Today is clear to the world. Now, before they used to say that uh, we are the problem. You know, we are making pro problem, we are inciting violence, hate speech, and all of that. We are heating up the politics. They went and kidnapped an innocent man went wrong. Kept him in communicado. Today, from the report coming out through our barrister, by Stephanie Jofo, authenticated that our leader was being rushed to ill clinic because he's having a boy growing up in his auntie in terms of disease. Is, which has been confirmed that DSS Nigeria has poisoned our leader and allowing him to die slowly. 
but I want them and their pros both international Britain understand that there is a limitation to what man can endure in, in our pidgin English because today Americans speak pidgin English because of Nigeria election they say but you know be firewood I know they will hear because they pretend they don't hear but they hear you know I see uh, Basanjo releasing press release calling on President Buhari to do something about the charade they call election because he's trying to protect his uh, investment. A man who ordered the massacre of our people, Zakivia, OG. This man was even, there is, people are mentioning there is one he, he did in Abala. I could remember Obasanjo during his tenure in Abala, in Ungwala and Abahia. People can confirm. Obasanjo orders for the raise down of Abala people. It was Obasanjo tenure. You know? This man who killed us, who hated us now is, you know, that's why I call Nigerian youth. They are, they are cowards. They are very, very, that is idiotic coward if there's a word like that because it, 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 they're always looking for who to fight for them, who will come and speak for them, you know? Yeah, but I just speak. They are sharing the press release everywhere. International community of Basanjo, with the same man that is speaking, a, a, a library that was built for the whole nation during his tenure, he converted to his personal property. Operation Feed the Nation or Tafan, he converted to his personal property. Now he has his own army inside of the farm that he cannot challenge the government. That's why he's coming out to issue out orders and issue press releases to the Mr. President. These are the people who are holding you as an average idiotic Nigerian down. Now they are saying that you are about to rise up. They are scared. They are using every mechanism to subdue you, to tell you, calm down, calm down. Our Neanderthals, we will more not calm down, calm down. We are on top of the matter. At the end of the day, the wailing Nigerians will wear for two, three days. Everybody will go to your tent, to Israel. Mazi Jonathan will always say, Nigeria is the problem. I concur. Because at first, there is nothing like Nigeria. Nigeria is a mere geographical expression created by man only because of what is in your land to milk you. Today, the uh, European Union is releasing their press release that uh, telling us that uh, it's because of Naira scarcity and uh, uh, the poor scarcity that affected the uh, 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 INEC in conducting the election. This is to tell you how these people are wicked and mean to Africans. But does African man understand? No. Most especially are we both people. Today, just because, just because as announced that people be one Lagos state, I just want people to think. Just because people be, they say to be one Lagos state, they are beginning to raise down the poor market. So begin to destroy shops. You know, the other day it was in uh, Madugiri, Monday market in Madugiri. Today, the whole market is ablaze. So many shops are ablaze. Now I begin to ask our people, in how the man you borrowle, I am marrying him. You know, because I met I met one of our. Not that I'm taking too much time, but I have to say this. I met one of our sister, so to speak, in my working place today. You know, we are discussing. She came from uh, the north. You know, she's doing business. I was asking her, what are you doing in the north? She said she's into business, that she uh, just bought the land now herself, that she's uh, developing the land. I said, are you serious, madam? In the, that means you're not even paying attention at all. Our people are only after capital, business, everything, business, everything, 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 
say, look, when I was in Tarugu, clean this particular lady. I asked her, why do you prefer that side? Yes, say, uh, if you come this side, cost of living, who will have a full uh, 10 bedroom flat, you have one 10 naira, you have this side, you have like one million. You know, I see human being using common, even getting a pity now, now, as a, a, a kind of a clause to your to to, to to achieving a greater future for your generation or for your for, for your for your future the then answer. i begin to understand that you know, our people really need to understand that nigeria is not for us and i won't take much of your time while i'm doing it thank there you will. and god bless uh, you too there will. caller on what's up please make it as brief as you could you, be, you are the last caller please go on please caller on what's up uh, uh, thank you, Professor Jonathan, for taking my call. No. Yeah, you speaking? Yeah, you speaking to a brother scavenger or pushing with the scavenger? I'm calling from Africa Sud, Africa Sud in South Africa. I greet my leader, Mazen Namdekano, a prisoner of conscience, who set up this radio Biafra, a citadel of knowledge and prosperity to educate us, to alert us. All that he have talked is happening. Some have happened, some, is, some are still happening now. Uh, Professor Jonathan, you see where all this thing is landing to us? Anywhere you go, you know, see Boma, no, Rachaposo, Baba, Ayama. Anywhere you go, you know, see Boma, no, Rachaposo, Baba, Ayama. Did you see what it, where it is landing us? Anywhere you go, you know, see Boma, run away. Ideology. Professor Jonathan, do you, the person where they are talking to, the Igbo man, that is why I call them Ujabanis. Do you see where we are heading to? Do you see what is happening to us? The, when they are singing this music to us, eh, we don't ask ourselves, where is this place that they see Igbo man? Are they welcome in the place where they see the Igbo man? Are they welcome there? Or are they forcing themselves upon the people they visit? Let me give you the example of why you are not welcome. Because uh, in Odudua land, what they call you there is Omolo Ajokuta. It means that you suffer and you, you eat stone. You are somebody who suffer. You suffer, suffer, and what you eat is stone. Apataja. And you reply, Uba man will reply, ah, leave him. It's often man, it's often man. That means he's somebody who eat oil. They say you suffer and eat stone, and you reply with uh, he eat oil. Now you come down to the north, they call you in Yamri, they say in Yamri. They remind you that you are a beggar. You always beg. All the time you are begging. All the time you are begging. They are reminding you that you keep on begging. They are, they are reminding you your pain. Past pain. They are reminding you that with that pain you still remain on it. Ibo man, the Afro man, you must ask. When they, when they call you this name, ask yourself, what does this name mean? You must turn that mirror to, 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 to like a, a fire. You are in fire. No, Professor, Professor Jonathan, if you can see what is happening, you know that you are hated. The Igbos and the Biafras are hated because in a normal society, there is no normal society who will burn a property of a, a stranger. Investor. Because that is an investor. Somebody came to your land and develop it and make this happen there. It's an investor. But look at what they are doing because it's not a normal society because you are not uh, welcomed. And first, if we know about it, then it is better for us. Professor Jonathan, do you, can you see the clip that they played here? There was a clip playing before in Radio Biafra here. That even our leader and Obi, uh, Peter Obi, they went even to London with our leader, Mazum Ma Nam, the kind of prisoner of conscience, and they, they talk, they were even talking together with Tojiku. The ideology of the Afra, they know everything. So they said that this man called Obi, who is now a traitor, this man is wicked. This man, after our leader, internal leader, Odumebojiku, raised him from a dose to, 
to, to now where he's heading to where whatever he is today is our internal leader dr odumai gujiku who made him whoever he is but look at what he said look at what this man said in the in the and now what this man can be able to say is that the jaffa is dead 50 years ago did you see the type of mentality they have did you see the type of education they are getting even if you don't know what to say why can't you even say no jaffa is there but at least the ideology you don't even mind them. you can't even use diplomatic way now we have to come and we are not trying the only thing we want is what Biafra. give us a referendum referendum is what we want just referendum give us referendum release our leader Mazuna, a prisoner of conscience if we didn't get Biafra, Biafra, you must know you will always be you always be suffering you always walk more and eat less you always be in pain you always be carrying your basket up and down running up and down because you said yes you are you 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 you, you my hard worker and tomorrow a lot of people will finish other places will finish oh, oh, so many places whether you want to or not true even in kaduna in medugri everywhere they will be burning you they will be doing everything for you and you'll be walking like an ant every day by day of your life repent and follow us IPOB members to fight for your freedom when you get freedom others will come rest others will follow you you will see good thing in your life thank you professor jonathan for taking my call therefore i love you IPOB members you are my blood there were there were this is where i'm going to switch off the phones i have switch off the signal and i will turn off the wifi of this one also Biafra friends and lovers of freedom. You know, there is something that used to baffle me. When the decision of the DOS, the IPOB leadership, are the first time you see many people, some people even, you know, trying to find fault in the decisions of the IPOB leadership but when everything came comes into clarity now you see people praising the leadership <laughs> you know I could remember when some people when you speak with some people say nah you know are we going to leave uh, allow election to hold while our leader is suffering uh, let us do something in the IPOB leadership please you oh no 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 you but after now you see everybody showering praises do you see what is leadership <laughs> not with emotion because with emotion when you spoil things no person will talk about you you are the person that will start talking turning back against the leadership <laughs> do you see what it is this shroud they call nigeria election selection i call it can you hold the democratic election in serengeti the same way you cannot do it that is what is happening in nigeria that is why i say nigeria is the problem you know according to the u.s observers united states observers uh, observers the people on ground ambassador green he said just stated uh, on arise television that the 2023 nigeria presidential election process lacks transparency it lack, it's, it's a is a is rubbish everywhere it doesn't matter at all the nonsense these are if if uh, uh, the in i mean the population the uh, people all over the world are watching this what do you how do you think that they will take nigerians that is the question for you to answer for you to see the reason why when you anywhere you drop nigerian passports the person will see you as a as a, is a, a criminal number one and lower lower life low animal number two because of all these things you understand that's it so but uh, the u.s mission in nigeria officially said today i had the privilege of observing the voting process at some polling units in abuja 
Remember, the only election poll results that matter are the ones that I next Nigeria will announce after the voting is finished. Ambassador Leonard. You know, our leader have said this. Any, every ambassador, every foreign mission, foreign ambassador that comes into Nigeria, he will be greeted with uh, a bribe. The first of all, uh, it depends on the country. <laughs> Some they give them oil well. Some they give them money. Direct. So that uh, they will close eye and talk diplomatically, you know, without saying the reality of what, giving the, the report of reality of what is happening. The election observer, the person on ground, have said another thing from the same U.S. Now, the one in the embassy that is uh, that have uh, received uh, his uh, oil well. Now, he's, he, he wants to be diplomatic. No, no person have the right to talk about the election result, only INEC. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the America... UK, America, they have sanctioned the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yaqub, by, as they say, cancelling any visa to him. What a mess. That is ridic ridiculous. There is a program they always say, whether in MTV, they say ridiculous. Very funny. That is only the, the highest thing you can do, cancel visa. What if, if the person don't even want to come to your country? What? Somebody, what the, how many myriads of countries I, any person, oh, Dubai is there, Saudi Arabia is there for them, uh, Asian countries are even welcoming. Different, uh, you can go to Portugal and chill. You can go anywhere. Uh, uh, that's the worst they can do. But uh, one thing is that IPOB has been once again vindicated. He has once again been vindicated. That there is nothing good that can come out from Nigeria. Because Nigeria is not good. Nigeria is the problem. That's it. How can you just, in a drum filled with red oil, now you want to have a immaculate white uh, handkerchief, from inside that drum. Is it possible? The drum of red oil. Because Nigeria is the problem. It's not good. It's not good. I was communicating with somebody. He's a pastor in Nigeria. He said, my brother, this is a pastor issue. Let me tell you. Yeah, I will know. Everybody here is a criminal. Whether pastor, imam, this and that, or criminality without criminality you cannot survive in nigeria that is the real well, let us tell ourselves the truth no matter my pastor all we are doing it is criminality because the system puts everybody into this without criminality whether you're a pastor whether you are seeing uh, god you are eating with god you cannot survive that is how plain it is that is it he didn't miss words he said it any person in Nigeria you are claiming, oh, oh, I, I am this, I'm righteous, I'm honest, that is rubbish, nonsense. Because Nigeria itself, if you try, if once you enter into Nigeria from outside, a year world Nigeria, Nigeria and when I world, yeah, different. Nigeria has their own uh, cloak. Nigeria has their own cloak. If you don't put it, you will not, you will, you will not survive, you will not move on. You will not survive. You know? You will, drive, you will be driving rich uh, 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 and uh, wait for some people to pass. People at the back who can even hit you and say, are you crazy? What are you driving? But it's the normal thing you did. <laughs> you know? It's the normal thing you did in uh, another same country. But in Nigeria, they, you, it's you even that they will look at you are uh, insane. Why are you stopping for that uh, man or woman to pass? You have to pass. All that people will be honking and even hitting your car. What, what is this man? Before you know, you are in a problem for doing good. So that is, Nigeria is the problem. Do you understand me? The earlier we understand it, the better. 
stop uh, thinking that you can one person can fix it oh let us uh, where are those people that are uh, uh, clamoring uh, uh, your pvc it counts go and take your pvc ipob is equal okay okay uh, everybody if you want to vote do if you don't want to vote uh, don't do it is your choice we are neither for or against it's your choice because had it been IPOB didn't behave the way the leadership didn't do it the way by now oh, the whole nation will be uh, blaming IPOB is IPOB is IPOB <laughs> for you to understand that those that are shouting a brave one no election and they sit at home it, they are working they are, is it have you now confirmed that they are working for police politicians they are political talks they are politicians that did all these things so that after their work they want to do is after the election now instead of uh, you know focusing on the problem now they stop is you people that put on uh, is ipop now that put uh, it at home do you is it now or or no 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 direct tomorrow those type of people will come and talk and you still listen you know because uh, some of our people most of our people 15 minutes once uh, pass that minute that adrenaline will subside finish achieve for everything and that is how this thing is going to end before you know uh, the that the Jews they never enter into play oh. <laughs> they never come out because a time will come now pastors uh, imams that the Jew it is their job now for peace to maintain peace and all that don't worry trust God God is good everything is okay just you receive your personal miracle everything is okay I don't want to dive there but uh, the sedative is coming <laughs> yeah I know IPOP one family that is it enlighten the people are uh, inside this struggle when you um, Mazen the Kano brought enlightenment illuminated our brains if you want to call us illuminati no problem illuminated brains and that is how it's supposed to be thank you for listening to this hallowed platform Biafra is our identity Biafra is our religion we are receiving disturbing news about our leaders uh, health situation which the leadership has been warning talking about being countered by his so-called brother do you see being countered by that mazen amdekan is okay <laughs> no no oh no man dss so i say oh no dear so uh, uh, incommunicado uh, they, they become uh, uh, the demigod because they see him so they can manipulate information as they want we i we understand what is going on because these people they don't want our leader to come out if our leader comes out they become irrelevant they are how they have been you understand but as our leader is there it is to the advantage Allah the that is it so that they will come and visit and, and come and write this is how our leader we are his brother is it like this this is the order given they don't want him to come out if he comes out no more message for them no person sees them again do you see the we understand all these uh, dirty politics we understand it that is why we must continue in what we are doing because IPOB is not a is not a private business. If it's a private business, we 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 shouldn't. We I wouldn't be here at all. Which we will not be here. We will not. We will leave it uh, name a private business or family business. No, everybody have a stake in this. That is the reality. So we must continue what we are doing. We do it with our genuine mind. We are not pursuing money no person is paying us forget those that uh, is money 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 they were a monday account as a account as 
Anytime they talk, ask them, say, Madam or Mr. Please, are you benefiting from IPOB fund or not? Direct answer. Don't go east or west. I'm paying you. I'm paying. Ask, answer that question. Because if you ask me that question, I will tell you no. Financially, instead, I'm putting in IPOB. I never benefited further from IPOB. But these people ask them that question. Madam, you are talking, oh, you pay, you are doing this, you are fighting, oh, my restaurant. Okay, we know you are trying. But are you benefiting from IPOB fund in any way? <laughs> Church, we boss us here. <laughs> that is a simple question. Are you benefiting? Are you benefiting any financially? Enjoy your church, Abacha. Thank you for listening. Biafra is our religion and our identity. Our leader must and capital must be released. So that all these shenanigans, all these wolves and uh, thieves will be relegated to the background. To where they are. Or where they belong. That is the reality. Because uh, in the absence of uh, uh, the, 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 our leader. This Nigeria mentality of not respect, being disciplined, respecting the structure, we must break it. That is what we are doing. We must break it. We cannot uh, restore a nation that uh, like Jaga Jaga like Nigeria. He said, no. Instead, I know I know before. Instead, I know na zonya na na sofa. I now copy. Now sofa. No problem. Instead, I get restored. We are no no no. Onye me ya ya me interpret to see chong. Onye me ya kuro to see chong. La wo onye Diego ya Diego no ya wa wo all and all. Diego Diego because all Diego. No, there must be sanity. There must be sanity, law and order. That is the makeup of civilized people. That is it. People that are civilized, obedient to the law and order, rules and regulations, discipline. Not people that don't look down on, uh, uh, I mean, structure. But they want people to respect them. They look down on on things, on on the structure, on leadership. But they want people to respect them. It cannot happen. Thank you for listening. From me, Mazi Jonathan Chinedu from here. It is simply good evening. <laughs> Many like they fucking corrupt. See, this Nigeria, eh? The level of corruption we will deal now. Uh, only God for save us. Yesterday I worked for polling unit as PO, presiding officer for Potako CFO Biapo. I conduct election. Conduct election, finish. Then tell us for INEC office. See, make we don't upload this, the results because they want when we come back then go change the results before they upload them. So they give us wrong password, we don't know. What the password will they give us as presiding officers for that beaver's machine where you see their wrong password. We don't know what in the song. Only for me to go pull in it, conduct election and finish, count all the votes, do result by 8.30 yesterday night. Make I upload because the, the community people they say I no go go until I upload that result this year. Only for me to try to upload results. The password they show me invalid. Uh -uh. These people won't beat me for DM. They don't they say in a lie. They, they hit the table. Two girls with me and then follow to the INEC work done. They cry. They fear. They see me and they step on the inch until I upload that result. And they call my SP or my supervisor. In, nobody switched off. They try to call people where if he help resolve the issue. Nah, no way. Nine o'clock in the night, we still dead there for pulling unit for we are no even savvy. Fear won't keep me yesterday night. I mean, I say, what can make or risk my life?
Ooh, I'm a little 